Hi everyone, in this video we're going to deploy our first agent. I'm going to go ahead and open the Symantec Info Protection Manager, put in my username and password, and log on. Once I'm in, I'm going to click Clients, install a client, and I'm going to leave the new package deployment option, which is the default option. I'm going to hit next. Now I'm going to leave the default here as well, but let's go over some of the options we have here. So first we can install package for Windows. We can of course choose Linux or Mac. We can assign the package to a certain group, but here we're just going to leave the default, which is my company. I'm going to install a full feature package and I'm going to choose the default standard client installation settings for Windows. I'm going to hit next. Now here again I have three options. I can either save the package, copy it to a USB drive, and install the agent manually. I can also send a web link to all the different users in my network and have them download the agent from the cloud directly. I can also email all the different users on my network and send them a web link with an email. The email will have all the instructions on how to download and install the agent locally. For this tutorial I'm going to choose the remote push which means that I'm going to deploy the agent remotely to different clients on the network. I'm going to click Next, Search Network, Find Computers, and hit OK. The manager will scan my subnet and provide me with a list of all the different machines on my network. For this tutorial, I'm just going to choose Machine 1, and I'm going to hit the right arrow. I'm going to provide the administrator credentials and fill in the domain name, which is lab.local. Once that's done, I'm going to hit Next and Send. The Symantec Endpoint Protection Manager will begin the deployment. And we're done. I'm going to click Finish, go to Home, and Refresh, and see that my agent was properly installed. Now let's log into Machine 1 to make sure that the agent is really there. open it and we can see that we have the agent. We can look at the status, scan for threats. Change some of the settings. View quarantine files and view logs. I can also click on live updates to make sure that the agent is up to date. I'm going to close the agent and one last thing I want to do is show you what the Windows Security Center looks like with Symantec installed. So as you can see everything is normal except for the virus and threat protection and the firewall and network protection. Both are now under the responsibility of the agent we just installed. I'm going to click out and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. For more news and updates, visit TomBH.com. See you next time.